Leslie Ellerlees, uh, and I currently I'm Vice Principal and Head of the College of Science and Engineering at the University of Edinburgh, but I am a chemist. I thoroughly enjoyed chemistry, physics and maths at school and so went to university because I couldn't decide which one to do, which is not like me at all. But I decided to do chemical physics because it allowed me to do all those three subjects. I graduated, um, still continuing doing uh, chemical physics, and I was the only girl in my year to graduate in chemical physics. I then went on, went to Australia, worked in solar energy, came back to the UK, did a PhD in solar energy. Um, I have continued loving solar energy ever since. Um, and continued up the academic career path, um, got a chair uh, and then became head of chemistry at the University of Edinburgh. Now throughout my period as an academic I've always done a lot with the Royal Society of Chemistry and this Royal Society of Chemistry has given a lot back to me and I think it's important when you're an academic, experiments don't always go right as we well know. Uh, and it was always good for me to have the Royal Society of Chemistry as another interest, as something else that I could do and use a different skill set, develop a different skill set. Uh, and so I've thoroughly enjoyed my time and you can't imagine the delight uh, when I was elected to be the president of the Royal Society of Chemistry. It's, it was a, a, it was a pleasure but a real honour uh, and I was determined to use my presidency to really highlight diversity and the role of diversity in chemistry. I was the first woman president in 170 years um, and so I wanted to highlight the role and the importance of women in science but I wanted to expand that and to look at diversity as a whole. I think if we're going to seriously crack the big global challenges that we've all been set that science and engineering needs everybody to crack that. So one of the projects that I um, developed during my presidency of the Royal Society of Chemistry was the 175 faces. And I suppose if anybody was to ask me what is the thing you're most proud of during your presidency, I would have to say it's this project and seeing this project through to fruition. Um, 175 faces was really, we evolved it, I suppose, out of recognising that we were going to be 175 uh, years old and why not celebrate that and 175 weeks back from our 175th birthday was during my presidency so we decided that what we would do was to try and highlight and showcase some of the wonderful people and the truly inspirational people that have studied chemistry uh, and have used chemistry in their careers to tell their story so that other people who wonder, I think, and consider why would I do chemistry, can go and look at the, these stories and be inspired themselves. And I have to say, on a rainy Friday lunchtime, to click on the website and to read the latest instalment, to read the latest story, um, is one of the highlights of my week. Uh, and you can't fail but to be inspired, to be humbled by some of these stories. So 175 faces of chemistry as it was originally conceived and drawn up is about to complete because we'll have our 175 faces. But that's not the end of the project. That mustn't be the end of the project. Um, there's lots of other interesting stories out there. There's lots of other things to be told. We've not finished yet. So I hope, I sincerely hope that we continue to collect other stories from other people to share more widely to get more people engaged with what chemistry is about and what chemistry can deliver.